Ladies and gentlemen, on November 27th of last year, our city experienced a great tragedy. In the Planned Parenthood shooting, three lives were lost. We mourn the lives of Jennifer Markovsky, Kiari Stewart, and Officer Garrett Swayze. Officer Swayze's widow, Rachel, is here with us today. And I, Rachel, I speak for the entire community when I say we're all inspired by the courage and strength that you have exhibited. We also send our best wishes to those that were injured, the five officers injured in the line of duty and the four civilians who were hurt. While the events of that day were tragic, there was remarkable courage to be found in the response. I said then, I say today, and I believe wholeheartedly that our city is defined not by the senseless and violent actions of one individual, but by the courageous response and resilience of our citizens, both uniformed and civilian. Dr. Hurst and his team of medical professionals jump into action, giving needed medical assistance, and very importantly, kept their patients calm and sa safe in the midst of these tragic events, so as to ensure there was no further loss of life. He was in the optician's office when the shooting began. Without hesitation, he ensured that his three-year-old daughter was safe, and then jumped in to assist Dr. Hurst and his team caring for patients as they were brought in. He even assisted a police officer in moving a patient inside to safety uh, during the shooting. Mr. Hagawara, thank you for embodying the spirit of the Springs. Look for ways to to keep the customers safe, comfortable, and happy, even providing coloring books and crayons to the children. I understand you also gave some playing cards to <laughs> some. Uh, police recognized the actions of the King Supers team as vital in protecting a large number of citizens during this tragedy and sheltering them from harm. Carmela ran to get Dr. Hurst and assist the patient. Bridget quickly gathered supplies and secured the building. Several times, uh, Dr. Hurst and Carmela needed additional supplies, and these two women came up with improvised solutions as the office was not equipped for gunshot victims. These two women also took charge of moving patients multiple times to keep them out of harm's way. And more, Carmela and Bridget helped an elderly couple who had been stranded in their vehicle and were later brought in by police officers. These two women were instrumental in ensuring the safety of patients and victims until the armored vehicle was able to access and transport them all to safety. The University of Colorado, Colorado Springs is located just four miles from the scene of the tragic events. This department was not obligated to respond. However, the department did respond and Officer Garrett Swayze was among the first. Everyone who knew Officer Swayze has since stated that of course he would respond. People were in danger and he was going to help. That day he lost his life and the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs Police Department lost a brother. Here to accept the honor on behalf of the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs Police Department is Chief Brian McPie. And in coordination with CSPD and the El Paso County Sheriff as a shiny example of efficient and effective teamwork in the face of tragedy. For their service and commitment, I want to present El Paso County Sheriff Bill Elder with this award. The Colorado Springs Police Department reacted swiftly with a priority on preservation of life during the events of November 27th. Officers from multiple units used their stellar training to mitigate, mitigate a very difficult and violent situation and ultimately to rescue 23 individuals from the Planned Parenthood office. In a volatile situation, four CSPD officers sustained injuries, some of those serious. 
Each of the responding officers displayed incredible calm and dedication to duty. While lives were lost, it's without question that the actions of CSPD officers saved many, many lives, both in the facility and in the surrounding area. Here to accept the award on behalf of the Colorado Springs Police Department is Colorado Springs Chief of Police, Peter Carey. Officers from the department, please join us. Officers from the department, please join us. So anybody who's CSPD who was at Planned Parenthood for the initial response, this is in order. Please come up here. <laughs> he can do that. I can't. 